Hi, in this tutorial I'm showing how with the use of Toon Outline I'm masking 3D objects to look like something that is more painted uh, with brush strokes getting out of the outline of the 3D objects. As you can see in this picture, the outline is not really harsh painted and some brushes are getting out of the silhouette. I want to show how to get this kind of result in a simple way. You can achieve that with a number of different ways but I'm showing one way and maybe in another tutorial I'll show some other ways. Let's start. So I've prepared a cube and a sphere, AI standard material, a noise texture and some colors on it and then I've prepared a layer with a collection with the two objects in it and dragged the AI standard material as a material override. Then I created another layer and I've made a collection. This collection would be a tune line material and entered these two objects into the collection of the new layer. The new layer is a tune layer material. So I've prepared a new material on top of these two objects and this is a tune line, Arnold tune line material and I changed the contour to, to 10. I've made a noise texture on top of the scale of the tune edge and I've connected the alpha color on the weight, on the scale. I've reduced the light of the sky dome light to get a black background. The specular is on one. The transmission is also on one, but the color of the transmission is black. Uh, so we can see only the tune line. And I've painted the tune line in white so we can see it clearly. Then I've played with the scale of the noise texture to get some noisiness inside the lines. So we're getting some interesting, more detail in the noise of the lines. So I've rendered one layer, a color layer, and one layer which is the lines. Um, so we have two layers. Put that in Photoshop just to show how we're getting two layers to get one of them to mask the other. So I've created layer of the color, as you can see, here and then I subtract from it the tune outline so we can see how it cuts away masking our object and I, I, I've done that also in, in after just to show how it can easily be done just putting the color layer and then on top of it the outline and just putting it on subtract and you can see here the camera move and the simple movement of animation that I've done to the Cuban sphere. Then if you can see there's an issue with the anti-aliasing. Um, the more width you're putting on the contour the higher it's going to take you to render. And this is why you can easily in After Effects you can put some blur on your objects. The blur on, on lower parameters then you're getting some nice results in terms of just to to refine the anti-aliasing of the contour. And if you want to get some more interesting results, you can add to the width. Here I put it on 20 and changed the scaling and the parameters a bit to get some more interesting results. Look at the difference between this and that to get some, as you can see in the picture, some more paint uh, spreading out of the object to make it more thick, uh, like the change of the contour. So you can see here the test that I've done, you can see some texture like spilled out of the object. And of course you can do that also on your characters. I added the tune outline and I connected the scale so the noise will be on the scale so we can see some noisiness on her body. Um, I've made a simple ramp texture on the opacity on the Arnold Tune outline. So basically the lines is applying only on the contour of the object and not inside of it. So thank you for watching and I hope this is helpful. If it does, please subscribe to the link below. Just keep on pushing the boundaries of the look and style of your projects.